Happy Birthday floats over the blast walls of central Kabul. The music comes from an ice cream cart. The man pushing it is Shir Ali. The 35-year-old's not from Kabul, but its streets and this trolley give him an income. But lately, even in the heat of summer, people don't want his ice cream. The streets have become too dangerous. During the Karzai government, life was very good. We'd just cross the street and be sold out of ice creams. Now, from morning to evening, we can't sell them all. He starts his day at 8 a.m. and finishes at 8 p.m., fitting in the habits of normal life along his route. He started this job in 2002, when the Americans invaded. Back then, he says he made a lot of money. Now there are more attacks, more checkpoints, and fewer people on the streets to sell to. When I'm passing checkpoints, they think I have a bomb in my cart, so they stop me and start checking, and it's ruining my ice cream because they open the cart and it melts. His friends can relate. 22-year-old Shamsullah has sold burgers outside a mosque for four years. His income is just 25% of what it once was. We ask him if he sees a link between security and sales. Very much. We used to have a very good business, but it's deteriorating day by day. This week we have sold very little. For Afghans, even 20 cents for an ice cream is 20 cents too much. In the last quarter, the International Monetary Fund found that continued violence and political uncertainty around the upcoming parliamentary and presidential elections is hurting economic confidence and growth. There are dozens of ice cream sellers. In Shirali's patch of Kabul, he competes with 50. Most vendors make about $100 a month. From this, Shirali supports his wife and four children. He says he's looking for change in upcoming elections. I want security for my country and peace for my country and a prosperous future, but I will not vote for President Ashraf Ghani. Ghani came into office as international combat forces pulled out, taking with them billions in military spending. Since then, security has worsened and so has the economy. Shirley keeps walking. Happy birthday rings hopeful over the neighborhood. It used to draw people out of their homes. Now not even ice cream can draw Afghans to the streets. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera, Kabul.